Hi everyone, this is uh, the second video of my mystery robot which uh, rides around the house on caterpillar tracks. Um, as you all know, you cannot go sideward with caterpillar tracks and uh, I need my robot to go sideward to um, position itself. So I installed a uh, pneumatic system that drives down eight wheels that make uh, the robot go sideward. The um, system contains a compressor that I can enable like that, as you can see, two pumps and a um, motor controlled valve, as you can see, it works just fine. So let me demonstrate you the whole thing. I connected the uh, robot with an uh, IR receiver and um, with that um, I can control the rover with a um, old TV remote control. So let's put on the um, um, compressor and um, make the wheels come down. There it goes. The um, pneumatic system um, lifts the rover just a bit up, just enough to make it move to the side. And if I enable the motors you can see it. Wow, look at that. Just moves perfectly. Um, you can also, of course, move the um, wheels up again by switching the valve. But it will take a bit longer, so I won't uh, bore you with that right now. The, uh, this version of the robot um, contains also the uh, electronics. Uh, of course, the heart of the system is the, uh, is the Arduino Mega. And um, two custom-made PCBs with... Um, voltage regulators, motor controllers, stuff like that. Um, you might also have noticed the uh, soft stuff on the uh, tracks. It's called felt. Um, because of the weight, I, uh, I'm afraid that it, um, the rover will damage my floor. So I've put this felt on the, uh, on the tracks. It works just fine. Uh, the downside of it is that it gains some resistance while uh, the robot is turning. But it's just... Uh, it's doable for now. So, uh, well, also this mission completed. Thanks for watching. Um, in the next video I'll make the rover navigate on its own through the house. So uh, don't miss that. And uh, see you next time. Bye.